All right, this is a video to show how to use the ultrasonic sensor. It's a lot like the echolocation that a bat uses. It sends out a waves that bounce off something, and then they come back, and then it knows how far away that object is. So go ahead, open your robot project, connect to your robot. If you want to, go into your schematic editor and test out your robot. Make sure the motors work correctly. And then you're going to create a new program. So click on New. And then choose VI for NXT Target and give it a name. All right, so when the program is created, you're going to get two windows, a gray front panel and a white block diagram. You want to use the white block diagram. I find that when I want to program a robot, it's easier to start out by writing out the steps that the robot needs to take to do its job. But for this robot to not fall off the edge of the table, I want it to drive forward, find the edge of the table, back up, turn, and then stop turning. And then I want it to repeat these steps over and over. Bring up your functions palette by right clicking if you're on a Windows computer and then click the push pin to keep it there. Go into NXT Robotics, NXT IO and find the move motor block. This is what we use to move our motors. Right click on the blue node on the top and click create constant. This is the way we tell them move block which motors to move. These are the letters that are on the top of the NXT brick. Then right click on the blue node on the left to give it a speed, anywhere from 0 to 100. I don't want it to drive too fast towards an edge, so I'm using a 50. Now I want to wait until I get to the edge. So you go to the wait for block and bring it. And it starts out as waiting for time, but what you really want to do is wait for ultrasonic and you're waiting to see objects that are further away than the table top. Right click on the blue node on the top so that you can create a constant and tell it the exact port number. Where is the ultrasonic sensor plugged into? Mine is plugged into port 1. Then connect your two blocks together with the pink wire so that it goes in the correct order and we need to tell it a distance. If you want to know more about a block and what it does, press Control H to bring up the help information. It'll tell you about that block. So this is a distance in centimeters. The tabletop from my sensor is about five, six centimeters. So I'm going to say I'm at the edge of the table if it's more than 20 centimeters. Now when I've found that edge I want to back up. Again I want to set a speed so right click on the blue node and give it a speed. Okay, so I'm backing up, but how do I know when I'm done? Well, I'm going to back up for a certain amount of time. An even smarter robot might have another sensor on the back end so you don't back up too far. And now I'm going to turn the motors off. I'm going to stop. So I drove forward, found the edge, backed up, and stopped. My next instruction was to turn. There are a couple different ways to make a robot turn. You could have one wheel turn and not the other, or you can make both wheels turn, but in opposite directions. I think that's going to be the way I'm going to do it. So I'm going to get two motor blocks and have my motors go in two different directions. I'm going to wire them all in order and make sure that I set the motor that I want to move. So I have my two drive motors are B and C. I'll have B go one direction, I'll have C go the other direction.
make sure that you connect the pink wire that'll tell the program or the robot what to do in the correct order. So I only want to turn for a short amount of time. So I get a time block after this. If you don't want time to be a one second increments, you can go to wait for time and choose milliseconds. There's a thousand milliseconds in a second, so 500 milliseconds is half a second. So I'm only going to have it turn for half a second. After that half a second, I'm going to tell the motors to stop. All right, so I have pretty much everything written, except that I need all these steps to happen over and over. I want it to drive forward, find the edge, back up, turn, stop. And I want it to do that over and over so it doesn't fall off the table. So what I need is a special block called a loop. A loop will let you do your instructions over and over. So go into the structures, find the while loop, and drag it around all of your code. It'll make it do this over and over and over. Since I never want it to fall off the table, I want it to run forever, I'm going to go to the little stop sign, right click on it, and create a constant. It will only stop if it's true. So if I always give it a false, it's going to run forever. Download it to your brick, and let's test it out. Well, it's kind of working. It's not falling off, but it's not turning. So let's go back to our code. What's the problem? Well, I have B and C both going forward. I need one of those motors to go in reverse so that the robot will turn. Let's download it again and try it out. All right, so it drives forward, backs up, turns, drives forward, backs up, turns. Now our program's working correctly. You can see that the robot doesn't want to fall off the table.